Here's a few table editing tricks that might be useful for you. I have a National Parks layer for Great Britain. And if I open the table, I can see we've got the name of the National Park in a column. And for each one it says Dartmoor National Park. And then it does this for all of them, apart from one which is not called something National Park, it's called the Broads Authority. So if I want to create a new column which just says Dartmoor, Exmoor, Lake District and not have the words National Park in it, I could do it like this. I'm going to hit this button to open the field calculator. I'm going to call the new column name. It's going to be a text column and I'll give it a length of 100. At this stage, what we're going to do is use the replace function. So I'll type in replace here in the middle box and we found replace. So I'll double click replace. What we want to replace is something in the NPARC 16NM column. So if I go down to fields and values, that lists all the fields and values in my data set. So this column, NPARC 16NM, that contains the names. So I'll double click that and note how it goes between double quotes. And I'll put a comma. And here I type in the thing I want to replace and it's going to be a single quote and then a space and then the word National Park. I'm using a space before National Park because after each word like Dartmoor or North York, it has a space and I want that replaced as well. I'm going to hit, hit comma and then I want to replace it with nothing. So I just do two single quotes because there's nothing between those single quotes. So it's going to replace National Park with that and I'll close those brackets. So we're going to have a new column. It's going to be called name and it's taking the data from the NM, the NPARC 16 NM column and it's replacing space national park with nothing. I'll click OK and then if I scroll to the right, we have a new column which just has the name of the national park but without the word national park. So that's a really simple way to do it. Now let's imagine we wanted to create a separate column that just says National Park. How would we do that? Well, we could open the field calculator. I'll just call this new column category. I will make it text. And all I need to do here is put the words National Park between single quotes. And let me make that wide enough because I don't want the column getting truncated. So let's make that 20 wide. Click OK, scroll to the right, and now we've got a new column called National Park. And it's sometimes the case when we're working with data that we have a column, something like this, Dartmoor, and then National Park after it. If we wanted to create a new column that has these two columns kind of concatenated into one, we can do that quite easily. I could start this by clicking on the open field calculator. We're going to create a new field. We'll call it full name. We'll make it a text field. We'll make it width 100. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to concatenate two fields. So I need to go to the middle section, find fields and values, double click on name. We want to click on the string concatenation button. I want to put in a single quote, a space and a single quote to make sure there's a space between these two. Add in another field concatenation, double click on category. And you'll see a preview at the bottom. This is going to create a new field that's got the name column in it, a space and then the category column. And I click OK on that. And it creates a new field. And, you know, sometimes if we need to we might have to manually edit one or two things, like in the case of the Broads, it's just called the Broads Authority, so we can just delete that. And then once you're done, you can toggle editing mode, hit save, and then your new data is there. So that's how you can quickly create new fields and concatenate fields and replace things really quite easily in QGIS.